Welcome to the Fitzwilliam Museum. This is the Greek and Roman gallery. There's lots to see, but for now we're going to focus on the story of this pot. So how does this story begin? What was the pot before it was a pot? It was a big lump of clay. Back in ancient times, it would have been someone's job to dig that clay out of the earth. Then someone else would have needed to clean it by taking out all the stones and grit. The clean clay was then shaped by a potter. He would have worked on a potter's wheel, which was spun by his apprentice. Next, the pot was decorated by a painter. The paint was actually watery clay called slip. Now the pot needed to be baked or fired in a kiln. There was a wood fire in the kiln and very high temperatures could be reached. Once the beautiful pot was out of the kiln, it could be sold at the Agora, the marketplace. A pot like this would have been very expensive and only a very rich family would have been able to afford it. The man who bought it took it home and used it to serve wine mixed with water to guests at his parties. Once the pot was no longer used at parties, it was placed in a tomb. That meant it was very well protected for many years. It was removed from the tomb by an archaeologist who wanted to learn more about the ancient Greeks by studying the things they made. The pot was then brought to the museum. A case was specially designed for it where it could be kept safely. The people at the museum wrote a label to explain a bit about the pot and where it had come from. And now you are looking at it. This pot has had a very long life. It's nearly 2,000 years old. So many people have seen it before from the clay digger who first dug up the material to make it, to the craftsman who worked on it, to the party guests who admired it. And now it's your turn. You're part of this pot story now too.